Hey guys, Dan here from Daniel Norris Effects, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how a speed booster works. Quickly, for those who don't know, a speed booster is a special type of adapter that can be used to reduce the crop factor of a camera that has a smaller image sensor, like the Micro Four Thirds cameras. This process also provides more light to the sensor, increasing the amount of light that is introduced to the sensor to around one stop, effectively boosting the speed of the lens used. To make things easier to understand, I will show you through a diagram. Here we have a full frame camera, and here we have a lens that was made specifically for full frame cameras. That lens was made to be mounted a certain distance from the image sensor, in order to achieve focus. This is called the flange distance. It also casts an image that at this distance will fill that particular sensor corner to corner. This area that is cast is called the image circle. Now, if we replace the full frame camera with a micro four thirds camera like the GH4, we will first need an adapter to help maintain the same distance between the rear element of the lens and the image sensor, or we will not be able to achieve correct focus. As you can see, however, the micro four thirds sensor does not fill the image circle of the lens like the full frame camera did. This means that the full image that the lens is capable of showing is not being picked up by the sensor. This is what causes the image to become cropped. This also reduces the amount of light hitting the sensor. If we think about the image circle of a full frame lens, that area is 100% of the light that that lens is capable of casting. When it is cast on a smaller sensor, the outer edges of the image circle are wasted, meaning only a smaller percent of the light is being used. This means that not only is the image being cropped, but it is also darker than it would be on a full frame camera. Now, let us replace the simple adapter with a speed booster. The speed booster takes the larger image circle of that lens and focuses it into a smaller image circle, large enough to cover that sensor with much more of the original image. This means that more of the original image circle of that lens and more of the light it casts is used by the sensor and not wasted. This is how a speed booster works in the most basic of explanations. I hope you enjoyed this video on how does a speed booster work, and please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. I'm Dan from Daniel Norris Effects, and I will see you in the next video.